Still so angry about the display on Monday. Shocking. Palace bullied us all over their part. And for a team that wants top four, that just simply was not it. Really, really poor. I don't think anyone had a good game. Especially a couple of individuals who I'm going to mention during this video. But first of all, credit to Palace when it's due, where it's due. They were excellent. I absolutely love watching Crystal Palace play. They've got some great players, likes of Gallagher, Zaha, Eze. When he is playing, Alise. I love Mark Gwehi at the back. And Jack and Anderson. Believe it or not, I I wanted Anderson before we went for White. I'm not sure if that was a good decision or not. I love no, I'm joking. I love Ben White, but he wasn't brilliant on Monday, like most of the team. Uh, but fair play to Paz. Tyrick Mitchell is another really really talented player. Eze, uh, did I say Eze? I think I have. Yeah, very very good team. And they fully deserved it. I really like Mateta as well. He's been brilliant since he's come into the squad. Coming to the side. So, fair play to them. But, on to Arsenal. Nuno bloody Tavares. Loan him out. We need a more reliable backup left back. I didn't think this was a position we needed, but... Tonight, well, not tonight, the other night just underlined how much we miss Kieran Tierney, who's now going to be out with an uh, injury for the rest of the season. So we're going to re have to rely on that for the, la for, the pun for the last few games of the season. We've got nine cup finals that we need to win. If we are going to finish in this hot four, we can still do it. We are technically still in the driving seat, although we have a much harder run in than Tottenham. Man United, West Ham. I think it's between us and Spurs, but we have to win these games. And had we won on Monday, we would have been in such a good position. I want to add, we've also lost as many games as Crystal Palace this season. Obviously, it doesn't. You shouldn't read into this too much, although it's something I am paranoid about. Um. They have drawn like 13 games, so it's not really a big deal. But Nuno Tavares was terrible. And the last few games that he has played, he has been terrible. I think we should loan him out, give him some experience, and bring in someone that is better equipped to back up Kieran Tierney. Maybe someone like Rico Henry from Brentford. Or I'm trying to think of names. Uh, someone that's going to be cheap, I'm thinking. of Someone around the 10, 15 million mark is what I'm looking for. Uh, Tyrick Mitchell would be good, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Maybe... I'm trying to think of names. Maybe Jamal Lewis could be half decent, but he's kind of gone massively off the boil. So maybe not him. But my point is, Nuno Tavares is not good enough to back up Kieran Tierney. And that was another example of him just being an absolute bird brain defender. He really, that was shocking from him. Really, really poor. And earlier in the season, I was praising this guy to the hills. I was saying, it's a really good signing for under 8 million or whatever it was. It's fine, but he's just going to cost us. Gabriel as well. I'm not going to go in too hard on certain players. But Gabriel was terrible. Thomas Partey didn't make a single good pass. Martin Erdegaard, who I absolutely love, was shocking. But I have to get at least the players tried their best. I feel like the players tried their best. But their best was just no match for Crystal Palace. And we did improve after half time. Smith Rowe had a chance to score, Erdegaard had a chance to score. Nketiah hit the crossbar, Lacazette a chance to score, uh, Smith had another chance to score, and we should have had a penalty as well, I just wanted to add, Saka, the foul on Saka was a clear penalty, in my opinion anyway, try running when the guy's literally on your back, 
and snapping at your heels. You're going to go down. But these refs just don't seem to understand. But let's get into the player ratings. Uh, starting off, Aaron Ramsdale was fine in goal. Uh, I was happy to see him back in the squad because, obviously, he had an injury. And I'm happy to see that that wasn't too serious. Yeah, he was good. I'll give him a give him a six. Um, right back, Cedric Suarez. Tough day at the office against Wilfred Zaha. I don't think I can give him more than a four. But he was much better than Nuno Tavares, which isn't hard. Ben White, not his best game. Caught out of position. Mateta ran him ragged. Four. Gabriel, shocking in that first half. Did improve after the break. But I'll have to give him a three. Nuno Tavares, I've already touched on, will be lucky to get a two. He was woeful. Amount of times he got caught out of position. Thomas Partey. Lost the ball literally every time he got it in the first half. Did improve in the second half, but still nowhere near his best. And he has been brilliant recently. So it's a real shame to see him not do very well. I'll give him, I can't give him more than three. Martin Erdegaard, three, not very good at all. These are really low marks for me, by the way. I'm usually quite generous in my markings of these players. But I'm 3 0 against Palace is just unacceptable. Yeah, Erdegaard was not very good. Lost the ball quite a lot. His touch was off and he didn't create any chances. Uh, made a couple of nice touches in the second half, but that's not enough. Granite Jack, I thought, was one of the few players that actually had a very good game. I'll give him a solid six. I thought he was completely fine. He didn't do anything mm. wrong. It would be higher had we had a better outcome, but because we lost 3-0, I just don't feel like I'd give anyone more than a six. But yeah, Xhaka, I thought, was very good. I thought he he, worked, he made he worked really hard, made a good few tackles, and was one of our best players, if not our best player. Smith Rowe did look a threat in the second half, but really should have scored. And was anonymous in the first half. We'll give him a five. He's one of the few players that didn't disgrace himself. Saka, again, five. Not very good, but still... Still was one of our biggest threats, which is shocking. And then Lacazette up front, I fed up with this guy. Oh my god, the amount of chances this guy gets and doesn't take is laughable. Let me look down the Premier League table. Who has a better striker? Obviously City, they obviously have better strikers, but they don't play them. Liverpool, Chelsea, Spurs, West Ham, maybe. I don't think Antonio is much better. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14 teams that have be a better striker than we do. That is shocking for a team that's pushing for top four. Obviously, this is only my opinion. If you look at the stats, maybe they're not. But I think that likes of... I'm going to name a few. Ivan Tony, Patrick Bamford, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Mikel Antonio, uh, Armando Broja. Uh, Danny Ings even, and Ollie Watkins. And obviously, even John Philip Mateta. They are all better centre-forwards than Alexandre Lacazette. And that is horrible to say, but it's the truth. He has been so poor in the last few games. Yes, he gets assists. Yes, he works hard for the team. But goals is what you need from a striker. On the bench, we had Nketiah, who came on. Was our man of the match. I'll give him a good seven. Came on, did really well. I know I say I couldn't give players more than six, but he actually did fantastic. He was excellent when he came on. Uh, who else came on? Martinelli. He was okay. Six. Uh, who else came on? Who was it? It wasn't holding. No. Laconga, when Partey pulled up. We'll give him a good... I thought he was good as well. Give him a six. 
So the subs were actually better than most of our starting eleven, which is shocking to say and really quite sad. But hey ho, we move. We can still get top four. I'm not calling it quits yet. I just want to let Spurs know we're not going down without a fight. We can still do this. And as Martin Odegaard said in his where he said in his press conference or whatever, um, we need to pick ourselves up and go again because we have been brilliant this season. Far better than anyone would have ever hoped. And we can't, we can't screw this up now. I'll see you in my next episode, uh, probably on Sunday after the Brighton game. Uh, I'm actually going to that game, so they better, they better win. Um, yeah, I will see you then. Goodbye.